250 Gemstones culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News Channel. I'm your host, Michael T. Porter, and I am bringing the news to you uh, like no other. But before I begin, y'all hit that like button, subscribe button, and share button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. Don't forget to check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. This fool, Corey Harris, the brother that was on the, the infamous Zoom call with the judge while he was out there driving with a suspended license, is back at it again. Now we got some more gossip on this fool. It seemed like he can't catch a break. He got a bad hit. And there's a plot twist. I ain't gonna spoil it. I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna I'm play the video, but he just, just let y'all know he got a bad hit. And he also, you know what? Just play the, go to the video. I'm gonna meet y'all on the other side to give you my opinion. Let's go. New tonight, a shocking twist for the man who went viral for driving during a virtual court hearing for a suspended license. Corey Harris showed up in person at a Washtenaw County courthouse today, hoping to set the record straight and put this entire saga behind him. Instead, we're reporting on a brand new chapter. 7 News Detroit reporter Kimberly Craig has been keeping up with the twists and turns of this one. She was in court today as it all unfolded. Well, nothing went the way Corey Harris thought it was going to go in court today. The judge started off by slamming Corey Harris, saying he's never even had a valid driver's license. And the afternoon ended with Harris going to jail. <laughs> the person that needed to be blamed is the person that he was staring at in the mirror. He didn't do what he should have done. The judge came ready to set the record straight with Corey Harris, who has claimed that he thought the suspension on his driver's license was removed two years ago. That court and its friend of the court did nothing wrong. His driving privileges were unsuspended in 2022. That required Mr. Harris to do something. He didn't do it. The judge said Harris never paid his clearance fees with the court or the Secretary of State to lift the suspension, but that's not all. He has never had a Michigan license. Ever. We asked Harris yesterday if Ooh. he ever had a valid driver's license. He claimed he didn't remember. Do you ever recall having one? Having a driver's license? I knew I had a permit. This nigga here. Some people just deserve to be in jail. This man has never had a license and he riding around on a Zoom call in front of the judge telling the judge hold up give me some time to park give you some time to park nigga you're not even supposed to be behind the wheel you never had a license i knew that a, dr a driver's permit or i, I believe uh, I, don't, I don't know I can't say yes and I can't say no. And that's odd because the Pittsfield Township police officer and prosecutor said during that October traffic stop, Corey Harris knew what was up. At least twice during this traffic stop, he acknowledged to the officer that he did not have a valid license. Quote, unquote, quote, actually, I don't have a valid license. Close quote. The question was, are you a valid driver? Quote, I am not. There was no error by anybody. It was a failure on the part of Mr. Harris to do certain things. Now, I grant you that sometimes that can be a complicated process, but it was certainly not anybody's fault that that didn't happen other than that wasn't paid. Then came the unexpected. He has a warrant for his arrest. Corey Harris was taken into custody for what appears to be a nine-year-old bench warrant out of Allen Park. So was I shocked? Absolutely. Did I want my client to walk in and then get escorted to the back? Absolutely not. That was not the plan. And this nigga got a warrant. Lied about having a lie. And he got some warrant. <laughs> this nigga can't catch a break, bro. I'm not laughing at the man. 
But come on, bro. And then he, and then, did that nigga have a cane? Was that nigga walking with a cane? He's limping out of there with a cane. Bruh, he got a bad hip, no license, he going to jail, a warrant out for his arrest. <laughs> what appears to be a nine-year-old bench warrant out of Allen Park. So was I shocked? Absolutely. Did I want my client to walk in and then get escorted to the back? Absolutely not. That was not the plan. The shocking thing about Ashley is for a driving warrant license suspended that he didn't take care of. It should be something that a lesson for all of us handle your business at the end of the day handle your business in Ann Arbor Kimberly Craig 7 News Detroit would y'all like my opinion would y'all like some of this 250 gemstones news commentary well of course you do that's why your ass is here sometimes in life we bring unnecessary problems to our own doorsteps to our own doorsteps he got a bad hit teeth messed up, he won't get a haircut, he's overweight. He decided that it was a good idea. While he has a warrant out for his rest to be on a Zoom call with the judge, did he told the judge, hold up judge, I am parking right now. He's telling the judge that he's driving. Not only is he showing the judge that he's driving, he's telling the judge, give me a moment, I need to park the car. And the judge is watching, oh my God, I can't believe you just told me to wait while you parked this car, knowing that you have a suspended license. Knowing that you have a suspended license, your ass, your black ass, ain't even supposed to be nowhere near a car. Did y'all hear that? He does, He never even had a license. How can you suspend somebody's license if they never have one? This man has never had a license throughout his entire life in the state of Michigan. I don't know if he has kids. I don't know if he has a woman. This man is not in a position to lead. In order to be great, we got to make great decisions. We have to make great decisions, and this was not a great decision on his behalf. Absolutely not. Showing the judge that you're unaware of what's going on, because if you were aware, you should have been aware that this judge has the power to lock your black ass up. And you gave the judge all the ammo. And then he's condescending. He's lying. Like They said, did you... Have a license? Did you tell them folks that you had a license? Uh, yeah, uh, no, you know what? Then he said he don't remember. I can't say yes, I I can't say no, I just don't remember. This man needs a life coach, this man needs a financial advisor, this man needs a haircut, need to get his teeth fixed, need to hit the gym. This man needs to be in a space where he can thrive, where he can grow, and there's many of our black men is in this predicament. It starts with the inside. Where's your heart at? Where's your integrity? Where's your your understanding that as a man, you gotta take care of business. Women too, but really the man, you gotta take care of business. This is what we thrive on, taking care of business, growing, growing as a man, growing financially, growing spiritually. He has to be in his late 40s, mid to late 40s. And he's acting like He's a 16 year old. His brain didn't, his brain didn't um, mature. Because anybody knows that, hey, if you got a suspended license, one, you just need your license so you can drive your car, so you can go out there and go chase the bag and bring it home. Even if you don't have a family to bring it home to yourself, to, to, to sustain yourself. But some people say, I'll just catch the bus. Everyone uh, approaches life different based off their own perspective and outlook at life. And I never saw myself just giving in to the world. I always have the F the world mentality. We're supposed to have this mentality because of God. We're not supposed to conform to the world. We're not supposed to uh, obey the world. We're not supposed to love this world. We're supposed to rebel, get right with God, and then dip out. But while we're here, you're supposed to be doing wonderful things for yourself, wonderful things for your family and those who are in your, uh, uh, within reach. You're supposed to be making people better, but how can you make others better if you can't even make yourself better? Especially as a man, you're called to be great. You're called to uh, lead. You're called to have people around you lean on your black ass shoulders. But it's obvious that Mr. Corey Harris needs to lean on somebody's shoulder. He needs a pep talk. He needs some fire up under his ass. 
He needs, I wish I can take that cane that he was limping with and whoop his ass with it. That's exactly what he need. That's exactly what he needs right now. I wish I can take that cane and not not just hurt him bad, but just take that cane like this and come behind. Him. Hey, 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 Corey, let me holler at you. Take this cane. Hey, man, I need that cane. No, 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 no. I, I got you. I'm gonna hold you up. Oh, I'm gonna give you some balance. Let me tell you something, nigga. Get your life together. You got people depending on you, and even if you don't got people depending on you, you got yourself that depends on you out here nine years. With, uh, knowing that you got a goddamn warrant, knowing that you ain't never had no license, knowing that you need to take care of business, pay your fees. Pay your, I know, I know, I know, I got you. You're not going to fall. I got you. Listen, nigga, you are a black man. Most importantly, you are a man. It is a jungle out there. You cannot waste a second. You cannot waste a minute of your life with this foolishness. Take care. I'm almost done with my speech. Take care of business. Start working on yourself. Get right with God. Go to church. Go to a gym. Learn something. Get your ass in them colleges. Get your ass to a university. Learn. I, I know I'm almost finished. I told you I'm almost finished. Get your ass in the university. Go talk to a financial advisor. You need help, bro. In order to be great, we got to make great decisions. <laughs> He's like this. Okay. Oh, I understand. <laughs> Here's your cane, brother. Here's your cane. Oh, but before you take this cane, just know that if you don't adhere to the advice I just gave you, <laughs> I'm going to choke your black ass even harder next time. Go about your way, Mr. Harris. But y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about Corey Harris and people like Corey Harris out there who do not take care of business? 250 Capital G News. I'm gone.